One feature that I want to mention, but um, I'm not going to really demo, is that um, calculated values in program rules um, is uh, is now um, is now saved with a uh, type. Uh, this is useful. Um, the 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 calculated values used to be stored as text always, um, but um, to be able to validate the expressions properly, and Jose showed us some of this validation in the Android app, and the same validation will happen on the um, uh, on the maintenance app when you enter the program rules. Um, it will um, uh, also be possible to trigger from from the um, data administration app. Um, and these validations are relying on the fact that we know what type each of the variables are. Um, as you know, when you link a variable to a field or to either a data element or a track entity attribute, um, the value, will, value type will be inferred from this um, linked um, element. Uh, if you use a calculated value, however, um, then this would be um, uh, this would be um, where you can can now add a type and explicitly say that this calculated value is uh, a number, for example. Um, there, there is a difference at uh, both the validation level and also uh, on how these um, are um, evaluated at runtime when you run the program rule. Uh, if you uh, if you end up uh, adding two and two together and those are both numbers, then this would result in the number four. Uh, if you add the string two to the string two, then that would uh, instead end up as 22, uh, which might or might not be what you wanted. Um, so make sure in your existing uh, instances to have a look at the value type for your program rule, val rule variables. There might be some program rule variables in your uh, setups that now have been defaulted to text, but you want to change to number. <laughs>